I've genuinely been on the most ridiculous journey over the last eight days. I've never climbed a mountain before and I, I don't have any mountaineering experience. Kilimanjaro is a very, very high mountain. There's no getting away from that. And it's the people that help you get there and the porters play such an intricate role in helping you along that journey. Women have come so far. 10 years ago, they really struggled to be accepted. And now there's this family environment. I think in some ways, my eight days has replicated that women's journey. I had to show some of the skills that these women demonstrate every day of this resilience to prove and gather respect that they truly deserve. Women who are unfortunately only 18% of the workforce that go up Kilimanjaro. When I first arrived and threw that 20 kilo bag on my head. Eva, okay. are you pounds. ready to go? No, I think so. <laughs> I didn't really realize what I'd let myself into. The relentless nature of this role as a porter to get Kit up Kilimanjaro needs a lot of respect because it's due it. It's not that comfortable on your head, let's just put it that way. You can see the campsite in the distance. It's actually the most demoralizing thing because how, no matter how far you walk, it doesn't seem to get any closer. <laughs> Apparently women do this. But the pride you feel when you finally stand there at Uhuru, having grafted through the night to get to that summit, is amazingly, amazingly special.